on Google Hangout, I have Mandela Maseka who has just won a very exciting prize in a very exciting competition. So Mandela, I'm going to let you explain to everyone what that was. Why don't you go for it? Okay, hi guys. My name is Mandela Maseko and I am the future generation astronaut. I won a two-way ticket to space uh, through the Ex Apollo Space Academy. You are one of 23 winners. What did you have to do to win this amazing prize? Well, what I had to do was to enter a competition that was running on the radio station and I had to send a picture of myself jumping from anywhere. So I wanted to jump from the top of the house and then my mom said, you are crazy, you can't do that. What if you break your leg or something? So I did the next best thing, which was to jump off from a wall. And I sent in that picture while I was on the air. So a friend of mine captured me while I was on the air. I sent it back, they called me, and then I made it to the top 30 that was going to the local space camp here in South, in South Africa that was held in Free State in Paris. Okay, okay, great. So you had to participate in what seems to me like it was a very strenuous competition. Can you tell me about some of the things you had to do? Yes, ma'am. Uh, here in the local space camp, we had to do three challenges of which of them two were compulsory. And then one of them was 10,000 sky, was to skydive 10,000 feet above Earth. And the other one was the vomit comet. And from there to, to downsize to six. And I did what we call a plane stand. Immediately after doing that plane stand, you get off and you write a test. So imagine all the adrenaline rush running through your head and your body, and then you have to calm yourself down and make sure you write a test. And then I made it to the top three that was going to Orlando, Florida, to represent South Africa at the Global Space Camp. And when we got there, we did vigorous challenges again there also. So we did the ASOL courses, the G-Force, the flight simulation, the Zero-G, you know, you name them. And then at the end of it all, we had to write a test also. And yeah, I made it to the top 23 that, are, that will be going to space in 2015. These all sound like very extreme things. Have you ever done anything so crazy before? Yeah. I think the extremest thing that I've done was to be in a fast car. That was the extremest. <laughs> to answer your question, no, I've never done any of them before. It was my first time and I can simply say I've nailed them all, you know. Uh, I am that typical township boy whereby you throw anything to him. If I don't know it, I will tell you straight up I don't know it. But then I'm going to make sure that I learn it and then I master it. And yeah, I did all of that. <laughs> okay, well, legendary spaceman Buzz Aldrin was one of the judges at the competition. What was it like to meet him? You know, the first time I saw Buzz Aldrin was on a movie called Transformers. And uh, wow, getting to see him live on its own was an experience and a half. And after shaking his, shaking his hand, that's when I said, you know what, I, I have to get this. This is what I want, and yeah, I got it. Okay, well, you were one of three South Africans who represented South Africa at the competition. You said you entered a radio contest. What made you want to enter? You know, I was sitting back at home, and, you know, I wanted something to inspire and motivate the youth, you know. I wanted something that would rekindle that thing in people's minds that you can get anything you want as long as you put your mind and hard work into it, you know. So um, I can simply say it got me at the right time, at the right state of mind, you know. And I heard and I listened and I acted. Now I've, I've done it. Well, your story is definitely a motivational one. Did you ever want to go to space before entering this competition? I've always wanted to go to space, but reason, uh, but then us were not allowed to think that far. You know, um, 
Yeah, yeah, but then I've always wanted to go to space, especially after I've watched the movie called The Apollo 13. That's when I said, you know what, I have to do this. Well, you're going to be the second South African to go to space and the first black South African. What does that make you feel like? Um, it is an honor and a privilege to be, uh, well, to be counted amongst the first people that, you know, when you think of the name first black president, first South African to go to space, just to think your name will be resonated amongst those lines, you know, it's, it's just an honor and a privilege. And also I sort of feel like, you know, um, Mandela has passed on a torch to me and said, I've ran the race up until this far. Now here's the torch, continue to inspire the youth and run it to new heights. And new heights meaning space. So yeah, I'm going <laughs> to run it to space. Well, we're definitely looking forward to your um, next adventure. Can you tell us when you're taking off and heading up into space? I will be taking off in 2015, and um, my flight, it's an, uh, it's an hour's trip. Reason why I'll be taking off in 2015, the XCOM, that is under the SXC, they are still building the Linux Mark II spacecraft, of which now I think they are running their final test. And as soon as they're done with their final test, then I will get to be someone to come to Orlando, Florida, and then do my final training and yeah, get to go to launch and go to space. That's amazing. How many people will be heading into space with you? We, in a, in a, in a, Linux, in a Linux spacecraft, it's only two people. It'll be the pilot and me. But then all in all, all 23 of ours will go to space. And also, can I just add this also, the SXC, they're trying to make space to be a, tro a tourist attraction. So I think there's more people who bought tickets than 23 of us who won. Okay, well that's 2015. What is life like for you now? <laughs> I can say life has been amazing. You know, uh, getting to win before Christmas, that's an early Christmas gift. So. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying life right now. Um, you know, it feels good to be recognized for the good that you're doing than the, for the bad that you're doing. So, yeah, life is amazing. The trip is in 2015. What will you be doing leading up to it? Well, I'll be training. You know, I have to be physically fit. And apart from tra training also, I have to do like school road shows whereby I'll be inspiring kids and motivating them to look into uh, being future astronauts. Uh, but then the major, major thing is for me to go back to school. I want to go and complete my studies. And, you know, I feel that it is a privilege and an honor to bring a career to schools, like a career like this one to schools. And I hope I can be able to bring aeronautical engineering into townships, and not just only townships, but then South Africa as a whole. So. That's more or less what I'll be doing leading up to the final flight. It's great to hear that you're so motivated and you do want to bring um, this subject into the townships. Do you plan to pursue a career in space travel? Absolutely. Um, you know, I want to be a mission spe specialist. So I'm hoping in a year or two, I'll get to fly back to Orlando, Florida, or Houston, and enroll into this course, Aeronautical Engineering, and get to be a mission specialist, and hopefully to fly to the moon this, the next time that I get to go to space, and be that first South African to go to the moon. You know, I want to prove to people that it doesn't end on the space only. Just when you think that uh, you've done everything, I come back with another one and tell them, you know what, you can go to the moon also. So yeah, I'm hoping to pursue this as a, a career. <laughs> well, that sounds great. Congratulations on winning and good luck with all of your future goals and your trip in 2015. I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more from you. So stay well and I hope your training goes well.